Hello internet friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the auction house and vendors in Star Wars Galaxies. This is a tutorial aimed at customers rather than merchants trying to sell their wares. So bear that in mind. If you're new to the game and struggling to learn how to use the auction house, this should help. So the first thing you need to do is find these glowing red bazaar terminals that are throughout the game. One way to do that is to bring up your overhead map and looking in most NPC cities you'll find something like this. This sort of structure here which has the four bazaar terminals and it will appear like this in most NPC cities. Another place you can look is the rear of starports. I'm not sure if you can see that, that big green blob there. At the back of most starports there will be bazaar terminals as well. So that's where you're kind of looking, but they can be all, all, all over the game. So once you've found the Bazaar Terminal, the first thing to do is click on the thing and bring up the main interface. I'm going to open up some stuff just to talk through some of the items listed. So once it comes up, click on All, and in the current region that you're in, I'll talk about regions in a moment, you will get a listing of items. So usually uh, the item premium is not really sometimes there are premium auctions i don't see that very often but the item name very important when it comes to search we'll talk about that in a little while item type is very important if you don't know exactly what the item is called that you're looking for you can look through all these categories here we'll come to that in a moment bid is the most important thing how much it's going to cost you Time remaining on the auction, I think the maximum is six on the auction house. This is not play vendors, remember? We're going to come to that as well in a moment. Time, So time remaining on the auction. Type of sale, you do find that people will occasionally auction things in the true sense of the word. Uh, they'll give a minimum bid and the highest bid wins at the end of the uh, time frame of the auction. If you do happen to bid on an auction, your bids will appear here. In the, my bids tab. But most auctions tend to be instant so as soon as you pl click place bid you will get that item uh, and then the location that's very important and that's the next thing we're going to talk about star wars galaxies has these regions when it comes to the bazaar and they are separate from one another so you have this region, which is currently Moss Eisley that I'm in at the moment. This planet, we can do a search this planet, find all the items. And then we can do a search of the entire galaxy, everything that's on the auction house at the moment. However, if, say, we were to buy one of these items and you look along to uh, the location, you'll see that it's in Rory in Restus. So if we were to click Place Bid now, let's assume we've clicked Place Bid, then under Available Items, the item that you've purchased will appear here and uh, the location of that item and you would have to travel to Rory just the same just access one of the bizarre terminals and you would pick up that item so don't freak out if you buy something it doesn't appear in your inventory it's probably because you haven't noticed the location where it is but check your available items and it should be there Okay, so now we've done the basics, let's look at the categories on the left. And this is where it can get confusing because where things are listed is not always 100% intuitive. I'll give you an example. You want a backpack. Where on earth would the backpack be? Well, unless you know this, it's very hard to find. Uh, it's actually in miscellaneous. This is just an example to show how confusing it can be. So, first of all, there's no cat obvious category for backpacks. Right, we're clicking miscellaneous, and then we're going down to wearable container. Okay, so that is what a backpack is. In this game, a wearable container. We open that up, and then there are different kinds of backpacks. It's just an example of how confusing this stuff can be and there's no real quick way to know where stuff is so that can obviously be quite frustrating at times stuff like armor sometimes it's really simple and it'll be the first thing that comes up but sometimes not one thing i would do is that if you know the name of the item item let's use the backpack as an example click on entire galaxy uh, make sure that is checked at the top then click all that's very important so we're not we're not searching in a subcategory and this will work for whatever item you're looking for then click in the item name fi fi uh, filter and we're going to do a search so i know that the backpack that i'm looking for is called a travel pack so i'm going to type that in travel pack all right so that's everything on the auction house that is a travel pack listed at the moment the entire galaxy so if you've got the name of the item you can get around that categorization nonsense um that's one way to do it 
Just while we're looking at this search filter here, you'll notice you can also specify a minimum amount and a maximum amount. And this checkbox here is to do with entrance fees for vendors, whether you want that on and off. Some people put entrance fees to their houses. We'll talk about the houses in a moment. Uh, whether or not you can enter. In my experience, very, very few people use that uh, because it's just a barrier to people accessing their vendors. So uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that on a house, but that could be there. Okay, so we have kind of the next uh, thing in Star Wars Galaxies, which is not the auction house, not the bazaar. These are the player vendors. And you access these by clicking vendor location up at the top there. The same principle applies. This region, this planet, entire galaxy. So this region is not really relevant here since the region is an NPC city, but this planet is definitely relevant. So these are all items that are being sold by people in their houses, their shops, their businesses that they've set up in the game. And we all can also do an entire galaxy search of all these items. So the same rules apply in terms of the entire galaxy and the planet, as I've mentioned. I'm gonna go I'm do, gonna do a search for this planet. And I'm going to search for a particular type of vehicle deed. So deed, vehicle deed, go down here to X34 land speeder, because I know one of my characters has got this listed and it's the lowest currently available on the bazaar. This is one of mine. So once you've located the item that you want, uh, you would create a waypoint to that item rather than purchasing the item. That will then appear in your data pad. And let's activate that. It's on this particular planet, but remember, if you buy something on another planet, you're doing an entire galaxy search. You'd have to travel to that other planet and then activate the waypoint. So I know where this is. So I'm going to travel to that player vendor. Now I've got my, you can see it's in green there in the waypoints on my particular heads up display. However, you use your waypoints to navigate, follow, uh, follow them there. It's 8,000 meters. So I'm going to travel by ship, get to the closest city. It's kind of got, kind of like going shopping uh, on a regular high street, except you're traveling the galaxy looking for your items and it can take time. It can be time consuming, uh, but it's one of the features that makes Star Wars Galaxies interesting in that there are these regional variations in prices. People can set up unique shops that are very personal to them and it just gives the game a really unique flavor and texture that other games don't really have okay so when you get close we've got that green i'm not sure if it appears green for everyone the waypoints or it's to do with my ui but it separates out the vendors into that green waypoint head inside and it depends on the player it entirely depends upon the player how uh, intuitive their shop is. If you find it that it's pointing, the waypoint is pointing to a Mustafarian bunker, then you're in trouble because those are labyrinthine places and people don't seem to very uh, logically lay out where the vendors are. There are three three stories that you have to search through to try and find the vendor. But hopefully it will be somewhere obvious and uh, vehicles and tools, we know we're looking for vehicles. Use the vendor and there is the speeder that I was looking for. Where is it? Luke's land speeder. So I would buy that and that's going to appear straight in my inventory. So do that across the galaxy, You're able to access everyone's houses. And it's a nice way to look into kind of get a sense of the player as well. Visit some people. You might meet some people. I made a very nice shipwright the other day uh, who was very polite and they, uh, it was nice to visit him and see what he's got for sale. So I hope this video helped you. I'm trying to think of other kind of basic uh, tutorial videos that I can do and offer to people. So if you have any ideas about that, what kind of thing you'd like to know, I've heard from a few people saying, I'm just getting started and this was really helpful, other videos that I've done. So if there's stuff that you think of that might make a good tutorial, do let me know in the comments. Let me know if this helped you. I hope that it did. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been Nap Yet, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye.